Sup, fuckers? Oh, I'm not allowed to say that. Hey, uh, bro. Do you like the new layout? I figured now that I'm living full time as a uni student, I should live in places that uni students live. For some reason, they let me in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're off to a terrible start. Luckily, nobody's tried to kill me yet, although I'm sure they're plotting it. The courses are going well, except the online stuff is a nightmare, and I think I've missed, like, half of a module because I couldn't access one of the lectures. So, yeah, that's going great. Poetry is good. I'm realising that everything I ever did since I was 15 was wrong. Right now, we're doing- we can't really call it homework, can we? But I'm gonna do it anyway. This is gonna be the beginning of episode 10. Um, yes, we're getting some fabulosity up in this. I've got my bi flag right here because I'm not enough of a gay lord already. It's really weird. Since I've come to uni, I, I think there's been a progression over the years of me getting slightly more camp. I feel like since I've come to uni, I've just become excessively camp and I have no idea how to stop it. It wasn't intentional. I think it started off as a, well, well you go to uni and you meet lots of new people. Lots of them have dyed hair, which means they're probably alternative. Now, that's my scene, if they let me into it. And I think I've complimented so many fucking strangers on their hair that in order to not seem too intimidating or like I'm hitting on them, because I'm not, I'm just like given a friendly compliment. I um, I tried to come across as femme or at least gay so that they assume I'm not attracted to them. Because I'm not, uh, I just want to tell them their hair's aesthetically appealing. But I think I've just permanently become camp and I'm not sure how I feel about that. My Tinder dates seem to like it though. Yeah, that, uh, that's another thing. I got Tinder, which is funny because I remember saying to myself not even a year ago that I would kill myself if I ever got Tinder. Yeah, I was being hyperbolic, but the idea was I would I was too insecure but, and would be too embarrassed to ever see somebody I knew under the implication that they would know I was on Tinder. <laughs> And they, they would look at me and go, oh, what a pathetic single bitch. And it's like, we're all single anyway, otherwise we wouldn't be on here. We're all in the same boat and that boat is rapidly sinking. <gasps> we're all on the same ship and it's not a relationship. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Ever since I got Tinder, my puns have been at an all time high. I've been unstoppable and I hate it. I've been in pun mode since I got Tinder like a couple weeks ago. It is driving everybody, mostly me, to the bend. Like I was bad enough already, but now I cannot stop. Addicted to the shindig. Chop top, he says I'm gonna win big. Choose not the life of imitation. Distant cousin to the reservation. This is episode 10 and I wanna do something special. So for every, 20 minutes I spend not doing work, I'll have to take a shot or a drink or something. I haven't I haven't decided yet, I'll either have cider or vodka, depends what's cheaper, because like we're a uni student, we're on uni budgets. Honestly, shopping has been the most fun thing, except I keep impulsively picking stuff up that I didn't know I needed. And my receipt always ends up showing a, a, a price that I am not comfortable with at all. Because I've been like, okay, you're limited to 50 pound a week and I've already buggered that promise. I want to get fucking buy pride bed sheets and they're expensive too. So I might not bother, although my other bed sheets have a hole in them because I have a dog. We're, we're not allowed dogs on campus. We're not allowed cars either, but mum still wants me to do the test and I refuse. The kitchen is basically my second dorm. I think I've spent more nights there than I have in here. I pulled two all-nighters in a row the other, like last week, which is just unforgivable, but also understandable because I am a uni student. I mean, we're allowed to, to you know, go a little bit wild. It's been seven and a half minutes and I haven't even told you what I'm doing. So I'm doing a creative writing course. One of my modules is dramatic writing, which I was a little bit worried for considering I'm bad. I'm bad at writing plays. I had one experience with writing plays and it was for work experience in year 12. And I, I wrote a modern comedic version of H.P. Lovecraft's The Shadow of Rinsmith and it was one of the worst things I've ever read back in my life, other than that book I wrote when I was 12, which I'm still editing, it's taken five fucking months because there are four hours of footage that I cannot be bothered to get through. Hello, it is May now and I'm just updating halfway through editing because I haven't touched this thing for five months. To say, that thing I said I haven't touched for five months, 
Still haven't finished it. I've still got all that footage for the, uh, the book and I hate myself for it. Hopefully we can start the thing. The thing is, um, dramatic writing. We have to submit something by midnight. Okay, so right now I'm watching a YouTube video on how to format screenplays. Now, the play is called The Depressed Dramatist, and it is about a playwright who is struggling to write a play before the deadline. And everything he writes, there are two characters that are meant to represent the play characters that he's writing about, and they'll act out um, everything he writes, everything he says. If he changes his idea and, like, scratches a line out, then the characters will interrupt themselves and stuff like that. So, um, I've been told I have a unique concept, and it's engaging and comedic, but I'm trying not to let it get to my head, because I know my writing, if I let it be, could be awful, with just a little bit of not giving it the right amount of thought. And considering I always leave it to the last moment, just like the character in the play, it does actually lend itself to effective writing, because I manage to get the stress of myself into the character, which just makes it more convincing. And then, you know, when you're late for something and your brain's just kind of going, oh, you're such an idiot, well, uh, the title of the play is The Depressed Dramatist, so of course the playwright is going to be severely depressed. He's constantly arguing with the narrator, who's like the comedy relief, but also the main antagonist. I've got too much dialogue and I'm gonna have to whittle it down because our play is only allowed to be like 10 pages. I'm assuming that mine's already gonna be 10 pages once I have applied all the formatting changes to it. So yeah, that'll be fun trying to justify it to my lecturer. Though, because we have to write a little bit about everybody else's work. We have to read their scripts and provide some constructive criticism. We don't really criticize. We just kind of go, oh yeah, I really like this bit and that bit. Your writing's better than mine. Why aren't you teaching me? I should just give up. But yeah, it's, it's really friendly and fun and online lectures can suck a dick. They don't work. They're so frustrating. I hate them. I just spent 15 minutes talking to friends and watching my own YouTube videos. I'm pretty sure that constitutes not doing work. Um, I'm so tired. <laughs> Roses are red. My, my life's incomplete. Uh, I'm gonna down this fucker LMAO yeet! I did not down the fucker LMAO yeet. It's like my brain's just getting me prepared for failure. I already feel like my body just cannot take anymore. But if I throw up, it'll be funny. I've got a spinny chair. I can I can spinny on my on my chair, and I can do this. And I didn't have to pay three ninety nine. I'm wearing Ryuk for some reason. I've had this shirt for like five, maybe six years, and it still fits me. And that's kind of insulting because puberty hit me like a snowball. I've got four hours to have it submitted. I really overestimated how much time I'd need, which is. Good, because it means I've given myself lots of time to do the work. Um, and afterwards I can go and uh, party or whatever it is that uni students do. I don't know, I just stay in here and cry. Okay, I'm done. It is 8.35 and I've submitted my, I'd say finished piece, but I've done what I can. I haven't said enough for this to be a proper length video, at least an entertaining video. So I'm going to make this a two-parter, because it's the 10th episode. It's special or something. I had these massive ideas for a really special 10th episode of drinking and jokes and whatever and, and, and steaks and I feel bad holding it off for so long now that the results are so mediocre but I'll see if I have any more work to do that I can uh, pretend to be hectic over for YouTube. Hello, it is 10am. I'm still bloody tired. And I turn 19 tomorrow, which is an ugly number. Another thing that's happening tomorrow is assignments. If I'm honest, I don't know how many of them I have. Not sure what I have to do for most of them. Haven't even started some of them. The number of which I have finished is zero. This is what I have to work with for today. I suppose it would be a present in itself to get most of it done before my birthday, which is tomorrow. I've got an idea for a challenge that I want to do, but yeah, it'd be a huge weight off, actually. I'm majorly worried about not being able to finish them. I barely know what, what to do, but didn't know where to start, and the date just kind of like crept up on me because um, motivation levels are low. 
this is going to be one of my, my, my highest stakes challenges yet. Uh, we, we should we should get some fucking man vs wild music playing in the background dun, or something dun, just to make this dun, even dun. more tense. I can imagine it playing right now. I can hear dun, it. Dun, I can hear the drummer dun, drumming dun. and the trumpets. Someone's trying to summon someone. I know something's coming, but I'm running from it to be standing at the summit then plummet. How come it wasn't what I thought it was? Was it? Okay, so it's eleven thirty eight. Uh, I'm watching Master Chef Professional on Netflix. I'm thinking I'll start working around twelve. Because then it's like a challenge thing, 12 hours to do however many things. My biggest fear is I'll get a headache and that will like carry over into tomorrow and like ruin my day or something, I don't know. But if I can at least get something done today, I'll I'll be happy. And I, I expect to, I expect to at least get a little bit of my poetry assignments done. Okay, the time has come. It is fucking motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Okay, so the time has come. It is 12 o'clock, I've got my emotional support teddy that I've had since I was like fucking one or something, I, uh, sure. It won't help me get a better grade. Right now I'm just looking at how many assignments I have. On my poetry course, I appear to have, um, two. I'm pretty sure I know what they are. I think for the first assignment, we have to submit four poems and like an RCU, which is basically, oh, okay, so I did this because I thought it would do this. Turns out it might not have been very good at doing this. And the second one was a book review that I still haven't started. Just realized, fucking hell. Just realized I hadn't submitted anything this week for dramatic writing. So I've done that super quick. I'll just check prose and poetry a second and then I'll focus on the actual assignments. Turns out, don't have to do anything for prose or poetry. So I'm good to focus on the assessment. So basically we have to have an essay that's 1500 words and then this that's 500. I'm, my essay is 2000 words uh, and I can't really shorten it any more than I have to so I just hope that um, it just gets to a certain point and they don't mark it or it, it, as opposed to it's too long we can't accept this kind of thing. Well we'll see when I fucking fail. In the meantime uh, I'll need my emotional support teddy and I'll, I'll have him right here. He whispers into my ear and he basically says things like kick that toddler. You know, helpful stuff. Your boy just walked the dog and learnt that his phone battery is very unreliable because I left it 60 and now it's at 10. Xena! Yo, it is 4am. Fuck, no it isn't. Yo, it is 4pm and I've written about 200-ish words for the essay out of 500. So, I'm not really focusing on it to be honest. I've got I've got professional master chef on, and it's a lot more engaging than uh, I mean. Um, I do need to get this done today. By which I mean, I gotta get something done. Bloody hell! So I have completed and submitted my essay for this particular module, and upon looking at my other courses, it turns out I don't have another deadline. For another week so i'm free to procrastinate until the day before and then panic okay so guess who completely forgot to remind themselves to do their assignment again and guess whose assignment is due tomorrow i'm not sure what i'm going to submit right now but i'm sure wherever it is it will be a jumbled together pile of incoherent mess that will probably hurt my grade more than it will help it i don't care what i submit as long as i pass God, I look a mess. Somebody told me I look better with a beard, and while I'm inclined to reluctantly agree, some parts of it are just absolutely hideous. And I don't think the beard works with me as a person. I mean, I like the beard. I've noticed I lick it when I'm bored or absent-minded, so I fucking stop that, alright? But I don't like how this shit just doesn't seem to grow. The moustache is way too apparent, and I really hate how it just doesn't suit my voice because I've got this masculine, <laughs> masculine beard. And then my voice sounds like this, high and, and, and camp and a little bit posh and also a little bit chavvy sometimes. So yeah, I have to write a poetry book review and I've, I downloaded the Kindle app on my phone and downloaded a poetry book. I might pull an all nighter, I've got some energy drinks and let's hope that's enough. Let's hope my sheer 
pathetic procrastinating powerless willpower is enough for me to triumph this this quandary once more once more like I, like i ever succeeded have i ever actually done homework in these videos oh yeah i have that was a year ago <laughs> hey three guesses yeah that's right it's been three hours and i haven't done jack although if any cute people named jack would like to come into my life and just make things a whole lot better I would not turn that down. It is quarter past midnight and I have not done any work. I'll definitely have to cram to get everything done by 3 p.m. tomorrow. It's better to submit something and get like a couple marks for it than not submit it at all and get nothing. So I might try stay awake a bit longer, probably just to watch this Demon's Souls live stream. I mean, uh, to do my work. Okay. I just submitted some prose work, because I completely forgot that we actually had to do work this week. I have just six hours to do this assignment. In fact, I have less, because I have a lecture, which is basically going to cut out another hour and a half of it. So I might have to get this done before that lecture. And we're back. Guess who has... Two assignments due, one in two days, and another in five days. Yeah, that's right, this episode is not done yet. I have 51 minutes of footage, and I'm gonna have 101 by the end of it. God help me, I just edited half an hour worth of footage, and it was unbearable. It took me nearly five hours, maybe six, I'm not sure. And by the way, I did do that assignment from last month. Yes, that was a month ago. That was the 16th of December. We are on the 9th of January now. I have been 19 for entirely a month, and it feels like my life has implied it would come together and then fallen apart all over again in the space of 30 days. It's great. It's wonderful. You've got to try it. It is nearly 2 p.m. the next day. I have done no work, despite the assignment being due in two days. I'll try to get working right now, but I'm tired as hell because... My sleeping habits have devolved into me falling asleep at 3 a.m. at the earliest. It is 20 past 10 p.m. and I have come to the kitchen in order to focus myself and hopefully do more work because I feel like this is a better established work environment than my, my dorm. And my feeling has proven correct seeing as in the hour that I have been here, I have made two tuna sandwiches, one which I had to chuck because it had moldy bread, and I'm currently eating sausages. I also made a cup of tea. I just need a drink because I've been living off water-based drinks for the last few days because my milk ran out. Hey, it is 11.52 and I'm finally doing stuff. I am, I've written 808 out of a possible 2,000 words, because I'm doing my prose assignment, because that's the one that's due on the 12th. It's the 11th in seven minutes. I definitely don't want it to look like exactly what it is, which is me doing it at the last minute. Okay, so the short story is called Bad Spirits, and the inspiration for this was um, before Halloween. We were walking down the high street, and I saw a few gravestones, and because I'm a halloween -y bitch, I was like, hey, why don't we go chill in the cemetery? Well, one of my friends, who was uh, very spiritual, said, uh, no, uh, there's, ba there's bad spirits there, and that's the name of the fucking story. Every time I think about the idea, I just laugh, because it's such a stupid idea, but I love it. Okay. So there's a guy called Edgar. He's like a neckbeardy nice guy. <laughs> He's madly in love with his girl called Mary, whose surname is absolutely Shelley. And I'm gonna make that a thing, and I don't care who cringes. I don't care how much pain the examiner goes through in reading this. It will be worth it just so I can call her Mary Shelley. So he's madly in love with Mary. He's been doing all these large romantic gestures, and he's just waiting for her to realize that he is the supreme gentleman. He goes and chills in a cemetery because he's heard that that's something she likes doing. So he's sitting at the gravestone and he's interrupted by a bad spirit. But his name is Alan. I think you can already see the joke I'm setting up here. So Edgar and Alan basically converse for a bit, and Alan says to Edgar, Wow, you're like a massive cunt. And uh, the entire rest of the story is just 
Alan teaching Edgar to be less of a fucking neckbeard nice guy and like coaching his conversations online with Mary. That's the entire story. I hate it and that's why I love it. It is exactly two hours later at 1.52 a.m. I have written 1,841 words. I'm not very happy with the story, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I've decided that he doesn't get the girl. He improves as a person, but uh, he doesn't get the girl because the girl is gay. This is a bad story. I'm reading this right now and this is bad. Happy Monday, cunts. It is 6 a.m. and no, I have not slept and no, I have not done any work since my last update four hours ago. Uh, I've been singing karaoke to drown out the sounds of the upstairs neighbors having more fun than me. This is the first homework vlogs all nighter on record. It is 6.30 and I've still done nothing. I mean, I've, I've had a pizza. Over the last two weeks, it's just been a steady decline of eating increasingly worse pizzas. And they're getting so bad to the point where it's honestly making me depressed. How much I'm spending on these pizzas and how terrible they all are. I will have to do work tonight because the deadline is tomorrow. It's nearly midnight, so I have 15 hours before the submission deadline. Hello, it is 4am on the dot. I have gone over just about half of my story and so far the editing is taking longer than the actual writing. I have 11 hours to finish this. It's 10.45 now. I only have a few more hours to get my evaluation done and it's going to be absolutely awful but that's the only way it's going to be on time. I've got about 200 out of 750 words right now. I've got four hours and a bit. Hopefully it should be okay but I'm measuring okay by the sense of getting it done as opposed to getting it good. And then at best I only have about a day's rest because I'll have to do my dramatic writing assignment after this. It is. 12.30 and I just have no energy. I can't stay awake, but if I sleep, I will sleep past my deadline. Okay, so it is nearly 2 p.m. I have one hour left and I'm nearly finished. And honestly, it's starting to look good. Okay, here we are. It's probably got typos on it, um, but this is too tight for me to care, so. And there we are. It is submitted. That is a huge weight off my shoulder. I am going to go and sleep for 84 hours and then I'm going to make smoked salmon and garlic and herb brulee sandwiches. Okay, so I pulled an accidental all-nighter. An all-nighter doesn't sound like something you can accidentally pull. It's 5.15. In the morning, it was my fourth all-nighter in a row. And this is when I actually have to start working again. So this should be great. But I'll start doing my assignment. It shouldn't be too difficult because I don't actually have to do the work now. I just have to go over some work I've already done and fix that up a bit, which should only take a few hours. And then I have to write another one of those bloody evaluation things, which hopefully shouldn't be too bad. Yesterday, I fell asleep at like 9 a.m and woke up at 3 p.m. Didn't get out till 3.40, which I think is a new low, even for me. 3.50 p.m. I just got out of bed. I have less than 24 hours to do, more than 24 hours work. Well, it's 8.26 a.m. and I didn't sleep, so I must have done something resourceful. No, I watched Gordon Ramsay all night. I'm just fixing up the second play. Can't wait for it all break again once I've put it all into one file and then I have to write the evaluation which shouldn't take too long. I wonder if you watch this entire episode through you can see my enthusiasm just drop every day. It's 9am now so there's six hours until submission. I've nearly finished messing with the second play. I've decided I'm going to cut the fourth scene because it makes the play too long and I just I just can't be asked to edit it. Finally, I've done the plays. Now I have five hours to write the evaluation. 10.43, I'm starting to fall asleep again. And I've still got to do that bloody evaluation. I know I can do this, I've done it before. I was exhausted, so I decided to take a break. It is 3.15. The deadline was 15 minutes ago. 
and because we've passed the deadline, I can't get an extension. I never finished the evaluation, so I've just sent the two plays. I just didn't rest, and I rest once, and then I fail. Not the tone I wanted to end my grand tenth episode on. Apparently, if you do fail, you can retake it, because there's no way I'm passing with 20% of my assignment missing, and me uploading it 20 minutes late. <sighs> Either way, the fucking lecturer's gonna think I'm fucking shit. Hello, it is the 30th of August, and I realised that I never filmed an ending to the 10th homework vlogs episode. I only just finished editing it, because I spent so much time not doing that. Everything turned out fine on the end, I passed, and then my June exams came along and I passed those two, and I'm starting my second year in like, a month. So it all turned out good at the end. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, if you liked it, like it, and if you subscribed, then you're awesome. So I say bye, I can't be asked to pick up any props, and I shall see yo bitch ass in the next video. Bye-bye.